Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a review for you of this really interesting little knife right here. This is the Mass Drop slash um, Ray Laconico slash Wee Knives Keen. Very, very interesting piece, but first off, in the name of full disclosure, this was sent to me directly by Mass Drop. Um, they sent it along under the condition that once I'm finished with it, I go ahead and I put this up on uh, some sort of a charity benefiting sort of auction sort of thing. I've done these a couple of times before, Mass Drop loves being involved, so that's kind of win-win for me, but um, nevertheless, we have to assume that this is the best quality controlled one ever, and I've done my best not to let that affect my uh, review with this little guy, but uh, anyways, thanks, Master Up, for that. Next thing, um, let's do a size comparison real quick. This is actually, you know, not a small knife. Um, here it is against the Ontario Rat Number 1 and Rat Number 2, so you can see here that it is kind of intermediate in that, lane, uh, in that uh, domain there, and if we look at the blade length overall, we're coming in right around 3.3 three-ish inches someplace in there um it's 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 up there um, and so it's not a tiny knife, certainly. And then here it is, of course, against your uh, Spyderco Delica. So you can see, yeah, size-wise, it's uh, it's pretty reasonable. Not bad, though. Um, next thing, this is a design that is, as I mentioned, by uh, Ray Laconico, or maybe Laconico. I'm not quite sure how it's uh, pronounced by him. But it is what it is, and it's produced by Wee Knives uh, for the Master Up folks. Master Up, for those of you unfamiliar is a uh, it's a website they kind of got their start doing like bulk order kind of things but now they have developed a full-on sort of custom, uh, well, not custom, but uh, production knives division where they're working with makers and they're having these guys made in a variety of places. This is one of the ones where they're working with Wee Knives. They've also worked with Rayot in the past. They've worked with Millet. Um, and so, you know, it's it's another one in their lineup there. And so um, that's, that's what we got going on here. And let's go on ahead and jump into the good, the great, the bad, and the ugly. This really, really interesting knife. Um, to start with, on the good side, um, I was just showing this off. This is the maker's mark for the knife. Um, and honestly, I love that. Um, this is something that Ray has done a number of times, but each time it's just like, yeah. Because honestly, it keeps the blade nice and clean well except for this part but still um it keeps the blade nice and clean it's just classy it looks good and i love his typography too so that's pretty good next thing the clip on this guy is absolutely solid what you can see here is it's a nice clip with plenty of ramp to it up the front here um nice spring here it's on a nice smooth area you know what? No objections there whatsoever. Yeah, it'll take a little bit of snail trail in here and there. This guy's got the fair bit carry, but uh, still, yeah, there you go. Next thing, this is well made. I mean, look, it's made by Wee Knives, so generally it's going to be good to go, but they've done a lot of things right. I mean, it is centered. It is an over-travel stop with a lock bar insert in there. Um, no arguments there. It's got a, I mean, Wee Knives just on the whole does really great work, and one other piece of evidence for that work is this action right here. Holy crap, the action on this knife is astounding say absolutely nothing but it's just easy peasy and then when you go to close it yeah it's nice so the action on this guy is stellar this is a really really nice action and it shows what we knives can do um so that's that's very nice um next thing honestly this has that sort of feeling of simple thing done well that's something i praise regularly but there's not all that much going on but what is going on is done beautifully there were just no flaws to it that i can see in terms of like outright you know oh god they screwed this up oh god the fit and finish here no it's just it, what is done here is done very very nicely yeah there were a couple of little weeks I'd like to see but it's nothing too bad. And so I like that very much. When a company tries to set out to do something relatively straightforward really well and they succeed, oh yeah, every damn time. Then finally, um, on the good side, uh, I'm sorry, not quite finally, um, the value on this guy is pretty damn good. What we're looking at here is 140 bucks. And but the thing is, this is buying you a great frame uh, frame lock flipper uh, in titanium with S35VN steel. Um, and it's really like the S35VN is, is solid. Um, it, it, it's And all of that for 140 bucks. And now you can get other frame locks in that domain, certainly, but this is a really nice one. And so value-wise, they're, they're, they're doing really nicely here. And finally, on the good side, um, Mass Drop, like I said, used to primarily work on that model of a drop, where it's like everybody signs up, and then in six months, ten months, whatever, you get your items. Um, and that's always frustrating, because what it means is that you can either get in, or once uh, they're shipping to everybody and you find out about it, you're kind of out of luck, and you're waiting for the next drop, whenever that happens to be. But um, Mass Drop is migrating, at least it seems in part, to a store-based model, uh, where, where instead you can just go to their website, and these guys are in stock, and you can order one, and it'll ship to you. 
you. That is the way that this should be done. Uh, the drop thing is a, a, a bug, not a feature. And I, I think that it's great, if especially if they're doing these designs that are not available anywhere else. Um, it's great that they're just going to become a knife dealer in their own right. I think that's that's pretty excellent. And, you know, whether they, they want to do that through their website or start selling them to other distributors, I don't really care. But either way, I'm, I'm thrilled to see that you could actually just buy these just buying them without having to deal with the whole drop mechanic that, that that's that's really nice and so um to me that's what's good here is that you can actually you know buy one of these guys which is nice the um value is right up there um it's a simple thing done well with a stellar action that's just well made and a very very nice clip and a beautiful maker's mark right up here on the spine um on the great side oh my god the blade on this thing is amazing Holy crap, do I like this blade. And I like this blade for a number of reasons. Um, the biggest one of which is take a look at the thickness behind the edge. It is so damn thin. And you can see even at the tip there where it's a little bit thicker, it's still really, really thin. This is an absurdly slicey blade. It's very, very nice. And it's also made of S35VM, which you can see right there under all the billboard. It's just beautiful. The shape on it is just beautiful. It's got a great grind. It's got a sharpening choil. I just love this blade. This is such a damn good tool for actually cutting things. It's absolutely stellar. If you're beating on things all day long, if you're prying with your knife, this may not be the right choice because of that thin edge, but you shouldn't pry with your knife anyways. Just carry the right tool for the damn job. But to me, at least, that's what's great about this knife is this blade is just spectacular. I love it. I mean, the moment that I first saw it at the California Custom Knife Show we, from one of the mass drop guys just handed it to me. He's like... Ah, uh, yeah, that's impressive, and it is impressive, and using it, it was just a great freaking tool for cutting things, and so, to me, at least, that's what's great, is this blade is just, just stellar. Um, on the bad side, the, uh, the dent on this particular one is maybe a little bit weaker, um, the thing is, I can't not flip it, so it's not bad, but, it, you know, I, I've seen we make some snappier ones, in fact, the one I handled, uh, at that show was a little bit snappier, so I'm assuming this is just a little bit of variance. Um, it, not super satisfying, though. Next thing, mass drop needs a maker's mark or something, because I'm getting real tired of the br blade branding. I mean, guys, I know you're a company, you're a brand, we we get that, but seriously, back it off a little bit. Get something that you can put up here in this corner. Get something you can put on the top of the blade. It's just, it's getting really tiring seeing that on every damn knife. And they've backed it off a little bit further, but whoever is in charge of them, they, they, there's got to be some marketer or something pushing these huge logos, and it's just, no, that's not what this is about. And it devalues use the work. I mean, they need to work on some kind of a way, just a little, low, you know, a single letter mark or something. They can brand the knives without it being so damned obnoxious. And now that they're getting into damage steel, if they start doing this to damage steel, I, I, I quit. I'm out of there. And so that's really, really ugly. Um, well, okay, it's not really, really ugly, but it's just like, guys, this is such a beautiful minimalist design. And then mass drop! And I just don't get it. So they need to work on that a little bit. Um, next thing, uh, design-wise, this is a little bit vanilla. It's a little bit bland. But the thing is, um, that's it's a Laconico kind of minimal. That's his designs. His, if you look at everything the man makes, they tend to be very contoured, very smooth, very... And so this is perfectly in line. You take one look at it, it's like, oh, Laconico. Um, and that that's fine. It doesn't bug me particularly, but it's also not going to be something that's, you know, an over-the-top design piece. There's not that much complexity. You can get them with holes or grooves or anodizations. There's a really pretty purple one as well. But honestly, um, it's going to be a little vanilla for a lot of people. Um, but like I said, that's sort of a design hallmark, so not a huge, huge deal. Okay, next thing. The uh, stock is a little bit on the thick side. Um, what they've got done here is uh, the, the, the stock here is about 0.15 inches. Um, that's not stellar. I mean, is it terrible? No, not necessarily. Um, but the thing is, when makers are using this super thick stock, even if they grind it down to a thin level here, you have the potential to bind up as you're cutting through like a heavier material, a thick cardboard, something like that, whereas a thinner stock might not. Uh, and it honestly, it feels like they're just putting themselves behind the eight ball there. I mean, to have to grind off all that material. I I don't know. I, so I'd kind of like to see them thin the stock a little bit and then keep that nice thin edge because it would be an even better slice of that. Is it the end of the world? Absolutely not. This cuts way better than most of the things out there in the knife market right now, but that's an area where they could do a pretty easy improve and it would make the whole knife a little bit thinner too, which, you know, is kind of win-win. So I don't know. Not a big deal, but it's certainly a deal. Next thing, um, this guy is a little bit heavier. 
Um, if we throw the scale down on the table here, we are coming in at 4.37 ounces, and that's um, it's well over the ounce and inch. But it, honestly, part of that's just because this chunk of titanium in the back here, well, these three chunks are not internally milled. There's nothing really designed to reduce any weight there. And, uh, you know, I can live with a heavier knife, and it's not so, so bad. But the thing is, the balance is also a little bit far back. It feels a little weirdly back heavy. Um, I, I would kind of like to see that, you know, for instance, part of this backspace removed or something like that, just to get the balance feeling a little bit more reasonable. Is it the end of any worlds? No, not really. But it's certainly something, again, that they could work on. Although, again, with internal milling, it would drive up the price. And then when the price point, eh, I'm sure there's a complicated freaking dance going on here. But that's an area where I could see some improvement. Next thing, um, this guy is unfortunately pocket pecking like crazy on this flipper tab. Um, the flipper tab itself is, is largely fine. You can see it's nicely chamfered around the edges there. I could sure use to see a little jimping here for slicker conditions. Um, but nevertheless, um, this guy is uh, definitely, when this guy's in your pocket, it's going to be pecking on whatever's in your pocket all damn day long. I mean, it looks like a bird. And that's, that's fine. It's not a big deal, but it's certainly something that me a little bit and can you picture this guy by the way as a front flipper can you imagine that can you imagine the joy the beauty the grace that would stem from that Oh yeah, that would be nice. But um, nev nevertheless, that that was kind of the that, that's a substantial thing, at least in my particular life. It really depends what you're carrying in the pocket there. But yeah, there's not no shame in the game here with the pocket back, and so that's definitely a. Uh, situation. And so to me, that's what's bad here, is that the pocket packing is going on like crazy. Um, the, the balance is a little bit far back. The knife's a little bit heavy. The stock's a little thick. It's maybe a little tiny bit bland. Um, Mass Drop absolutely needs to get, like, a, a real logo or something, so they stop billboarding the damn blades so reliably. And the detent on this guy is a little bit weaker than some, but again, it's not the end of the world. On the ugly front, honestly, there's nothing ugly here. I mean, it's just, it's a really good knife, and that brings us around to the uh, final conclusion, in which I will tell you that this is a really good knife. I mean, seriously, it is a stellar piece. It has a thin and slicey blade, thin grind at least. Um, it is a, gr a great construction, a solid functional design, and a really excellent value. Um, uh, sure, it's maybe a little bland in design for some people. Maybe it's a little weirdly balanced, a little heavy, and it's more than a little bit pocket pecky. But the thing is, it is at the end of the day a stellar tool. Carrying this guy was just like, oh yeah, I have a knife in my pocket. It was just beautiful. <laughs> I mean, it works just great. It's beautifully made, a price that's competitive, and thus I have no problem at all calling this guy a gem. Like I said, I, I handled this guy at California Custom Knife Show, and I and I, I was sitting there talking to Jodas, and he hands me this. It was just like, holy crap, you're sending me one of these, right? Right? And, you know, like, I, I would have, yeah, this is seriously a great piece. And even after 10 seconds of handling, it was like, oh, yeah, this is good. It's not going to be the one knife for everybody. I mean, the bearing situation, it's running on bearings. Um, it's not necessarily universally excellent in some harder, you know, gritty situations. Um, but the thing is, and, and you know, the thin blade is going to be great for people who actually need to cut things. But if you use your knife for things other than cutting, eh, it may not be ideal. But the thing is... Look at the price. This is real easy to recommend, especially now that they're going to just be available the people to just place an order. And honestly, this is an easy early contender for 2018's Knife of the Year. I mean, it is a solid freaking gem. It is really, really well done. And it's going to be... It's going to be in the running. We'll put it that way 100%. It's absolutely my favorite of Mass Drop's collaborations so far. So it is a great functional tool at a pretty solid value. It's nicely designed. And uh, put differently, I think it's a pretty great knife. And a lot of people are going to be pretty keen on this one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Anyways, hope this has been interesting to you. And that you have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.